Rory Johnson Hatfield, now 30 years old, a happy, outgoing and very sociable man who lives in Skipton and hasn't been seen for a year. It was 12.15 in the morning on Friday the 20th of November when he left the travel lodge on Piccadilly in York where he was staying. Police think he ended up in the swollen river ooze. His mum and dad hope that there's a different explanation. Although no longer together, they're united in their search for their son and they've visited York again to highlight the case. Rory is a free spirit, he's a lovely boy, he's a people's person, mm. um, just happy-go-lucky and, well, Doug and I think came out with the magic sprinkling, don't we? Absolutely, yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a lovely boy and um, we just miss him a so wonderful much. Son. Yeah, a wonderful son. For Liz Johnson and Doug Hatfield, there are many things that just don't add up and they're convinced that somebody has got vital information about what they call the missing six minutes between sightings on CCTV. It's from here at the start of Skeldergate Bridge from the roundabout Tower Street, coming across Skeldergate Bridge and up towards Bishopthorpe. Um, Rory was walking that way and then was last seen running down Skeldergate towards City Mills Care Home. Um, and then coming onto the balcony. It's a six minutes between that point there at Tower Street and that point on the balcony, where it only takes a minute or two to walk across this bridge. You can get a long way in four, five, six minutes. Just need to jog people's memories and, uh, and hope that somebody can come forward with a bit more information to, uh, or a sighting after the balcony, after one o'clock in the morning, was Rory picked up on any other CCTV footage. You know, we're concentrating on, on this bit, but. You know, was Rory spotted anywhere after one o'clock in the morning? Doug and Liz accept that if Rory ran away, either on the spur of the moment or in a planned move that night in York, he may be feeling it's gone too far and there's no going back. Come home. Come home, son. Come home, we miss son. You. We've, everybody misses you. If you think that you can't come home because of the river being searched, that you're scared, you that if you've had any worries that we don't know about, you know that we can make it all all right. Liz and Doug have had a lot of support from local people. Jonathan Mallory from Sky Filming in York operates drone cameras for a living. He's been able to help the family by searching the river from the air. Well, it just gives you a different perspective. You can you obviously you can see everything from the air, and then we can put it on the Facebook, and all the people on the Facebook group can watch the video as well, and, and we can say, oh, we haven't searched over there yet, or over there. We didn't know that lake was there or that pond was there, so we can go and look in there as well. So obviously, when the river was flooded, it would have flooded into ponds as well. So you don't know where things might end up. Jackie Rhodes lives in York and has been responsible for putting up hundreds of posters. Inside, what's going on inside, they must be absolutely screaming with frustration. Um, they've handled it fantastically. They've lost the son, we're never giving up. Um, it, we're not going to go away. This is where Rory's story started um, and we'll just keep the message out there. But Liz and Doug have just been amazing. You, 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 you. You wonder if you can get through, to be honest. Um, like I've said before, every day it, it, it's off kilter. It's just, it's just not right. There's, there's just something missing in your day, every day. 